<sighs> Pastor Jamal Bryant, I'm going to need for your ass to find you something to do, okay? Because at this point, it's just really bothering my spirit that you would even feel the need to sit here and make a response video to all of the foolery that happened on Real Housewives of Potomac. Baby, did y'all sit here and see this response that Jamal Bryant just sit here and put out a few moments ago? So look, let me just sum it up for y'all. Basically, what he said in a nutshell, before I show you the important part of the video, because it was like a 20-minute video, but I'm, I'm going to give you the most important part after I say what I got to say real quick. And now I'm going to let you sit here and decide in the comments for yourself. But basically... He was saying that if you're going to show all of the text messages, show all of the damn text messages. Show every single one of them where I was basically turning this woman down that he was allegedly involved with. How he went and sit here and told this woman who was, you know, I guess supposed to be, you know, involved with him on, on how not to come to his pastoral installation, you know, service or whatever you call it when he first got, you know, as far as put into new birth. And also he mentioned in regards to um, Monique and her husband, Chris, and the whole situation on how it wasn't uh, Giselle that leaked it. It was her best friend, Gigi, that leaked the whole situation about, you know, Monique's, I guess, baby being possibly by her trainer. Look, I don't know as far as the whole jush of the situation, okay? All I see here and know is that it's a hot mess and I don't even understand why would it, why was there even a need to respond. Sometimes a hit dog will holler and that's exactly what Jamal Bryant did tonight. Passa Jamal, Jamal Bryant did tonight. He said, baby, let me get my own binder, okay, and read all of you hoes out here is what he basically was sitting here and trying to insinuate and tell y'all. Let me get my own binder and read every last one of you hoes out here is what he basically was saying. That's what his inner person was saying. He couldn't say, he may then say it directly like that out loud, but you best to believe his inner person was like, I'm finna sit here and read every one of you hoes out here, okay? I'm finna read every one of you big four-headed hoes out here that want to sit here and come for me. And he also wanted to sit here and let the people know that just because he has a past don't mean you have to sit here and judge him for it in his prison. Okay? Whatever that means. And in regards to his phone number being leaked, okay, on the reunion, he said that, you know, basically he could have leaked, he could have leaked out the address of a certain person, but grace and mercy saved them. See, the Christians always trying to use the biblical word and to, to sit here and fit into their narrative. That's see, that's that's what I'm talking about, church folks. Church folks, you gotta sit here and watch. Nonetheless, y'all, y'all watch the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down here in the comments. I ain't got nothing else to say. It's just a hot mess. I don't know what else to say other than stay out of stay out of women business. Stay out of reality. Stay out of reality, women's women's business okay just stay out of it first of all you already see here and knew giselle needed a storyline you knew her fashions ain't up to par what else she gonna see here and talk about nonetheless y'all watch the video was uh disparaging remarks made by my father-in-law mr curtis graves who is 83 years of age he's 83 years of age and unlike many i was raised old school that you never disrespect elders. I honor him, he's an amazing man, has had incredible accomplishments, and he has every right to feel protective over his daughter. I've been divorced for now 10 years, and he and I have not had a heart-to-heart, -heart, man to man conversation about me breaking the heart of his baby girl. Anybody who is married, or been married understands that working with in-laws is a process and it is a journey. So that was in fact one of the very few times in 10 years that we have been in proximity. But I want on record uh, that I honor him. He's made tremendous strides in history. He is uh, my fraternity brother and I want my children to always know uh, that I honor their grandfather and Giselle's father. I uh, then want to uh, move. Let me uh, make sure I'm 
on the right page of my binder because um, you can't bring me receipts if I got the cash register. Mm. Uh, so um, let, let me uh, press the cash register. Yes, um, I dated a young lady in New York. In case you all missed it, I've been divorced for 11 years and single people date. When you date, sometimes it works and sometimes it didn't. In this instance, it did. Nothing immoral, illegal, or unethical took place. It did not work out. It is um, some clarity that needs to happen. I'm not married. I'm not engaged. So some of you have um, a strange relationship with language. You can't have a mistress while you're single. So I never had a mistress. As a consequence, she has never been to visit me in Atlanta, never been to Newburgh, never been in my home. I've never been in her home. Now, you would think that things um, just move forward and people move on. They don't. Um, so if we're going to show text messages, let's show all the text messages. Let's show the text messages um, of uh, the young lady asking to fly to Atlanta for my installation. Show the text message where I said, no, it's not a good idea. You're going to show the text message, show all the text messages where you asked to come down for Memorial Day. And I said, no, you can't come here. If you're going to show the text messages, show the text messages where you complained because I didn't open the door for you to speak on the Word Network. You're going to show the text message, show all of them, how it is that you wanted me to hire you to be on staff. I told you you weren't qualified. And so January, I brought in new staff members, three of them, uh, my assistant pastor, Collis Lemons, my internet pastor, Kerr Vance Ross, and my emerging generations pastor, Kariana Turner. So if you're going to show the text message, show the text message from January 5th, where you sent me in text, um, oh, I see you hired a young lady. You must be sleeping with her. To which I responded, no, I didn't even know her before I hired her. 56 people applied for the job. And she emerged because she is competent and because she is capable. And so for you to insinuate it uh, is fraudulent. If you're going to read the text messages, uh, read the text messages where uh, you ask me to review your dissertation on black women's empowerment. And I told you it needed a revision because it doesn't have depth. It doesn't have enough nuance and there is no creativity. We gonna read the text. Read the text. How it is that uh, you sent this quote receipts to 27 periodicals and blogs, hoping to sell a story. And of the 27 you sent it to, 25 dismissed it because they knew it had no merit, it had no weight. And so, because doors were not opening because you're chasing clout and an opportunity mm. to get on a stage that gift and integrity necessitate. You then sent it to the executive producers of Bravo. Sent it to the executive producers of Bravo. They didn't respond. So you sent it to every person in the cast. Your dissertation is on the empowerment of black women. So the question is, if you're empowering black women, Why'd you send it to the entire cast and never send it to Giselle? You want to equip her and not break her or crucify her. And you thought something was awry. Then the responsible thing to do is to go to that woman. But you didn't do that. It's okay. Um, what you uh, didn't um, say in uh, passing out this information is that uh, you and your sister starting a magazine, uh, very fledgling, no circulation, poor editing. 
And so my core in answering you uh, about where I am and what I am doing is not as a friend, but because I didn't want it in publication and I didn't trust it obviously wisely uh, that it wouldn't be used otherwise because every ask had a demand for something else. The only person uh, who bought into it um, was Monique. So let's uh, go to that. Uh, Where's Monique? Oh, here she is. Uh, Monique um, Samuels, I've never met. Um, Never shook her hand. Never been in a room with her. And yet, she's assassinated my character. A man she's never met. Now, um, I've got to address this um, because on national, international television, you've Uh, Monique um, Samuels, I've never met, Um, never shook her hand, never been in a room with her, and yet she's assassinated my character, a man she's never met. Now, um, I've got to address this, um, because on national, international television, you've the story. that your baby is from your trainer. And that's what got your husband upset because he thought Giselle leaked it. And I want to tell you, Monique and Chris, it is not Giselle who leaked that, but uh, Monique, your best friend, Gigi. Uh, On me, um, you teamed up with your best friend who, rest in peace, has gone on to be with the Lord and uh, generated a story um, because you wanted to redirect because uh, you thought a story was getting ready to break that your baby is from your trainer. Uh, and that's what got your husband upset because he thought Giselle leaked it. And I want to tell you, Monique and Chris, it is not Giselle who leaked that, but uh, Monique, your best friend, Gigi. Uh, we, we had nothing to do with it. Uh, you came... Um, hostile and angry and it was misdirected rage misdirected rage um, because um, uh, you you live in a house with a man who has anger management uh, who doesn't mind uh, expressing volatile behavior and everything that I'm saying tonight is um, not conjecture Uh, this is not murder Uh, this is uh, self-defense Uh, And so on Sunday, for the first time in five years, I'm inviting my audience to watch the reunion, the Housewives of Potomac, where you will see Monique's husband try to attack my wife, my ex-wife, Ann Robin. And uh, security had to be called, and he had to be subdued. And I'm very concerned. Um, Monique, um, you all have... uh, my phone number, as you expressed on the show, um, but I had you all's address, and uh, because of grace, uh, I didn't uh, respond to that. Um, Chris, um, you got to um, you got to take care of CTE. Yeah, some of your former uh, teammates contacted me; they're concerned. I said Jamal, please don't respond. Um, because CT is a progressive degenerative disease from a history of uh, trauma to the brain. Uh, And so just last week, um, you had an outbreak again of verbally assaulting a black woman in Safeway. We have the footage of that, but 
Uh, I'm not going to hear that, but I'm asking you to please get help. Uh, I've tracked down your pastor, and so all of what I'm saying is in love, so that your pastor can uh, help you uh, get the help uh, that is needed and that is necessary. Uh, none of this um, really ne necessitated happening. I've not bothered any of you. I've not said anything disparaging against any of you. I've not attacked any of you, um, but I thought it was necessary for a couple of reasons. Um, I thought it was necessary because of the failures of my past, it made the accusations of the present believable. And uh, many of you began writing on my social media.